and you can begin. All right, hey everybody, this is uh, uh, Mr. Lobraco and Mr. Matas. Uh, we're just going to be uh, talking a little bit about what we're going to be doing uh, uh, this first week. So first things first, obviously, uh, well, maybe not obviously, but um, we're going to actually be starting the unit in color like we were going to be doing when we were over at the, um, when we were over at school. So yeah, I'm going to throw uh, it over to Lobraco. Yeah, so uh, one of the things that we're going to have to figure out this week is uh, we're going to have to figure out materials. Um, so we need to get you to fill out a survey as soon as possible. And the survey is simple questions about the materials you're going to need for the class. And, um, and we need to know who has it and who doesn't, uh, who's able to go out and get these materials and who is not able to go out and get these materials. So we can help you to get them so we can all continue together. Yeah, we're going to be giving you about a week to do this. Okay, uh, we want to give you time to be able to do that because we know that some of you really don't have rides or you can't drive out yourself and whatnot. We want to make sure that people are staying, stay, staying safe. So we want to make sure that you're able to do that. We're also going to provide an assistance for those of you that for whatever reason you can't. But we need to know that. We need to know who can and who can't. Uh, we know it's going to be easy for you just to say, oh, I can't get it, so I can't do the work. No. That's we you got to put in some effort. So you know, Mr. Lebrowski and myself are working really hard uh, to keep you know to keep us moving forward. We need you to do your part and put forth some effort as well. So um, we'll be contacting you if we don't hear from you, which is not a good thing uh, about getting these materials. Okay. And we'll also be contacting you if hear from you that you're not able to get them, so we can mm -hmm. work together to figure out ways to get you the materials. Um, right. or, uh, one of those ways may be, uh, we're working out the details now, but it may be a day where we are at the school where you pull up in your car and there are materials on a table for you to grab without having to interact with the person. Um, mm -hmm. But we will uh, we'll have more information on that as we get going. Um, there is an introductory pair deck that we're going to be posting that uh, we want you to finish by the end of the week. It's going to go over the color information, the information that we would have given you in school about the color unit. Um, we ask questions. We want you to participate and fill everything out. Um, again, all of the things that we're asking you to do are required now, and we will be giving you guys points for completing them. Um, yeah, yeah. The materials that we're asking you to get, um, and we will have a list for you that we'll post on the Google Classroom, but they're very simple. Um, we need you to have a pencil. Uh, we kept this list as, as short as possible so that it's very reasonable for all of you to have this. You need a graphite pencil of some kind. Then Matas has a couple examples of erasers that you could possibly have. Best thing, obviously, if you have a pink pearl eraser, that's great. That's awesome. That's really going to be very helpful. If you have a, a better one like a Stadler, that's fine as well. And believe it or not, you know, even if you have uh, the list, get these at like Target, Walmart, or any um, what do you call it, grocery store. And if needed, yes, these will work. Okay, these will work. You don't have to have them on your pencil. Okay, so whatever eraser that you have, just have them. Okay. Um, the other uh, the other item that you're going to need is you're going to need. Uh, set of 12 colored pencils. Uh, some of you probably already have these. Um, if you don't, um, you have two options here. And the option that I think is the easiest is to just go out and get yourself a set of colored pencils. They don't have to be expensive. They don't have to be Prismacolor pencils. I went to the store, I went to Meyer on a food shopping trip and I got this for $1.98. Um, that, it's, it's that easy. Um, it doesn't matter what brand, just have 12 colored pencils. And again, I'm going to reiterate this. It's going to be very easy for you guys right now to say, well, I can't get them, so I'm just not going to do the work. But that's really not what we're asking. We're asking that you make the effort to get them. And I'm sure if you talked to your parents and said, well, you know, can you on your next shopping trip get me a $1.98 set of colored pencils, I'm sure that 
that's very reasonable to do that. And, uh, and in all honesty to that end too, in a lot of your social studies classes and your biology classes, you guys use colored pencils anyway as well, because and, and even your English classes. So um, odds are you probably have them at home. Find them. Maybe your little sibling or older siblings have some. Find them. And if you if you can't get them, absolutely, there's just no way that you can get them at the store and pick a set up. Then that's when you let us know, and we will work out some ways to get you the materials that you need. Uh, the last thing that you're going to need is white drawing paper. And again, to make this super simple for those of you who feel like you don't have any drawing paper, it's plain white paper. I went to the store and I picked up this pad again at Meyer. It's just a drawing pad. It's thin white paper. Uh, nine inches by 12 inches is a decent size. If you want bigger paper, if you want thicker paper, that's really up to you, but this is all you really need. It's just yeah. a drawing pad of plain white paper. So I made this as easy as possible for you to get something um, that works. Even uh, plain white laser computer paper will work for what we're doing. So if you have that as well, that could be another option. I just would only say like, if you can't get the, the dry paper, that's better. You know, in a pinch, the printer paper will work. Just the only reason is because the, uh, the drying paper has more of a tooth. You know, we're, when, when you're working with colored pencil, that is going to make a difference, whereas the printer paper tends to be smoother. So you're probably not going to get as much blending done as easily. But that's fine. You know, what we're really more concerned about the skills and understanding the techniques that we're going to be teaching you. Okay? So that's it. So <laughs> things this week, fill out the survey gather materials and let us know how you're doing and complete the paradigm. Yep. Pretty easy. Right. Cool. All right. See you later, guys.